Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, which is the third. So we are going to see what comes up for the third. What do we got for daily vibes? Ooh, well, I guess we're going to take that one, huh? High Priestess reversed. Ah, uh, wonderful. Um... <laughs> Loss of self. Somebody may be going through a repression, you know? They may. They may be going through some sort of repression, feeling at a loss, going within, feeling alone, needing to be alone. Um, maybe their intuition is, maybe they're doubting. Maybe you're doubting your intuition, um, not knowing all the answers, begging for the answers, looking for the answers. So... Looks to me like we have somebody here that is feeling at a loss. A loss. I, I need some answers here. Looking for answers. Looking for the truth. Okay? This is the sword of truth. It's a sword of communication. Maybe this person's looking for some communication, looking for the truth, wanting the truth. Maybe, you know, their intuition, they aren't listening to their intuition or they're not. Believing what they're hearing, something like that. What do we got? Somebody isn't seeing a situation clearly, put it that way. Or, or they're needing to take more time to see a situation clearly. I mean, the Ace of Swords is seeing a situation clearly, but this is not so... This is somebody that is wanting the truth, wanting to the, just give me the truth, please give me the truth, that kind of thing. Um, five of Cups, somebody has been grieving a loss, but they may be realizing that there's another opportunity. This is taking a break. This is also letting go of an old idea. Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Somebody hasn't been very practical. Maybe they haven't been very responsible. Seven of Swords. Wonderful. Woo! Look at the swords. Oh my goodness gracious. So there's a lot of thinking going on. There is a lot of thinking going on. A lot. Okay? With the Ace of Swords, too. We have a lot of... Um, it's almost like mental anguish here. A lot of mental anguish going on over stability, security, love. You know? Whether somebody wants to start on this new path or not. Somebody is probably stalling somebody is stalling or they are delaying moving forward maybe because they are fearful of getting hurt they are they're they're fearful of biting off more than they can chew we have somebody here that needs to let go of their fears and they need to focus on um what love is and what what love should be okay you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is really distraught over starting over. Okay, very distraught over starting over. But this is the moment where this person finds the moral backbone to start over, to do the right thing, to face their fears, to face their anxiety. So we may have somebody here that decides that, you know, <laughs> this is a good opportunity for me to, you know, do what I have to do, focus, you know, for me to really focus on stability and security and, and building abundance in my life. So anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is just about done focusing on a loss, five of cups reversed. This is beginning to realize or realizing that there is there is an opportunity for love, but with the seven, seven of swords underneath it, 
They could, somebody could be lying to themselves, so they could be deceiving themselves or self-sabotaging themselves because of the past, because of the memories of the past, letting themselves stay alone, stay in their period of repression, stay in their period of stagnation because it's going to take effort to start over. It's going to take effort to start new things and to try new things and to do new things. You know, you got to be focused. You got to be willing to do so. It's going to, you know, it's, it's not easy to start over. So anyway, this three of pentacles is working together. So somebody may be deciding, you know, we can work together. We can do this together. You know, there's an opportunity to make some compromises with communication and mutual respect. But I feel like we have somebody that has been delaying. They've been stalling. Things have probably come to a halt because somebody needed to realize that they have a bigger, better opportunity and stop deceiving themselves. So this is the truth, okay? The truth coming out. The truth being revealed. Some sort of awakening. So somebody may receive some sort of awakening that... You know, it's time for me to begin again. It's time for me to broaden my horizons and face my fears, my anxieties. You know, I have an opportunity to build a happy home or to build stability and security probably with, you know, this is like a soulmate connection. It really is with the Six of Cups. It's somebody that you've known before, probably in a past life, something like that, or you've known before. Somebody that you have known, but there could be fears of hidden agendas, fears of what's the motive here. Um... And somebody is trying to protect themselves. So we do have somebody here that is trying to protect themselves from letting anybody in. Letting anybody in to, you know, possibly hurt them again. Um, but that's just a thought. It's just an idea. Swords are thoughts. Somebody is letting their own negative thoughts sabotage them from love. Okay? Anyway. Um... insecurities these are insecurities somebody has been letting their insecurities you know keep them in the dark keep them in the cold when there is an opportunity to work together with somebody Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here to have it all. But you're going to have to face your, your own inner conflicts. You're going to have to bring closure to the past. This is closure, past. So we got to bring closure to the past to find wish fulfillment. And, you know, you got to let go of that, that anguish, the depression, the guilt. There's guilt. Let go of that guilt. This is an opportunity to have it all. This is a golden opportunity. It's something that has been manifested, you know, and somebody has been stalling their own wish fulfillment by letting their insecurities and fears and needing to protect themselves get in the way from a stable, happy commitment. There's definitely fears of hidden agendas here. It's like, what's up? What's up? What's going on here? Because you look at this. We have high priestess reversed on the bottom. Same. So we have somebody here who's not seeing a situation clearly for sure. It's like their intuition is poking them. Poke, 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 poke. And they're not listening. Let me give you an example of this. Your intuition poking you. You think about this person constantly. Constantly. Day in, day from the time you get up until the time you go to bed. And you're trying to deny it. That's your intuition poking you. Poke, 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 poke. You can't stop thinking about this person for a reason. Somebody's not listening to their intuition. That's just an example. Your intuition speaks to you with through your thoughts, through your ideas, through meditation, through everything, okay? 
So somebody isn't listening to their intuition. It's like their intuition is telling them that, you know, they need to stop protecting themselves or they need to uh, go after the wish fulfillment. They need to face their insecurities. You know, they need to start over, but they're not listening. They're not, somebody's not listening to their intuition. So anyway, I feel like today we have a day where somebody maybe this is awakening. This is an awakening where somebody may be realizing, they may be realizing that this is an opportunity for love. This is a soulmate connection. It could lead to wish fulfillment. This could be an apology. I mean, the Page of Pentacles is an apology sometimes. You know, it's an apology. I want to work together with you. I mean, don't get your hopes up. A lot of people cannot apologize. We know who those people are. You know, don't get your hopes up. So, um, somebody is, is experiencing a loss because they are not following their intuition. That's what I got. Healing family issues. <clears throat> your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, forgiveness is needed. You know, maybe maybe somebody is following the same patterns of their parents. Who knows? Ooh, this is what has happened. This is calling in your soulmate. This is the answer to your prayers. Please don't deny your intuition. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This has been manifested. This is a, this is a soulmate connection. Somebody may realize that they may get this epiphany overnight. That this is a soulmate. And there's an opportunity to heal this situation with compromise. This is, this is communication. This is communication. And following your intuition and realizing this is love. There is love here. So I feel like we have somebody that is going to because the Five of Cups reverse is realizing. That is realizing this is love. Um, and this is a major life change that is coming. Um, it could lead to extreme happiness with your soulmate. Um, we're going to get one more and then that's it. Ooh. <laughs> Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, good or bad. Even the bad stuff, you know, deepens the bond. It does. That's how you build the foundation. So, I mean, that's what we got going on here. So... I think that we have a couple people that are going to be getting to know each other, uh, deepening their bond, good, bad, indifferent, the whole nine yards. And uh, there's an opportunity to heal a situation with communication, maybe compromise. And that's what I got. So I feel like we have two people that are going to be getting to know each other. It's a soulmate connection. Somebody hasn't been following their intuition, but I think they're going to get this awakening that says, hopefully this is what it says. I mean, I can't promise this for everybody, but this is, this is an awakening right here. This is the truth. This is the truth, okay? The truth is, <laughs> this is a soulmate. So that's what it is. I hope this reading is for you. Good luck.